Hey, what's up, guys? This is World Rock Rocky, and I'm going to be predicting day number 31 of the NHL season. All right, there's only four games today. Yesterday, there's some banger games, a lot of high-scoring games. So hopefully, we can get the same today. So, four games. Before we begin the video, please drop a like, subscribe. Once again, guys, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. And I know I said this last year, but thank you so much. It means so much. 2% away to 100K. We got this, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get straight into this video. So the first game I'm going to go over is going to be the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is a banger of a game. Penguins have been absolutely horrible. Lost seven in a row, but finally won their first game against the Capitals when they actually looked pretty damn good. But they had a lot of injuries that game. We'll see if they can fight through it and play against a pretty damn good Toronto team. But they have goalie issues. But if you know anything about Pittsburgh, they do suck against backup goaltenders. If there's like a rookie goalie who's playing their first game or like a 90 year old playing his first NHL game, Penguins are going to lose and give that guy a shutout. It happens every single time. So I'm kind of scared of this one for Pittsburgh, but I feel like we're going to start a winning streak. I feel like we have to. This match was very, very tough. And the Penguins are falling behind and we're down by like seven points right now. We need to get some wins together or we're going to miss playoffs and I'm going to be depressed. Okay. So I think the Penguins win this game four to two in Toronto. Up next, going to be the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Washington Capitals is it is in Washington the Washington did lose the last game on home ice uh Lightning have been playing better um but it's gonna be a tough game this is gonna be a very fun game to watch I feel like it's gonna be very offensive and this game is gonna be four to three in favor of the Capitals in overtime up next is the San Jose Sharks versus the Dallas Stars it is in Dallas and Sharks did just give the Blues their first win in eight games so I don't know how they're gonna be feeling in that locker room they've not been pretty good this year and the stars they've been they've been all right they've been all right uh, above average except when Andre did get hurt so it's been a little hit or miss on the dallas side recently but i do expect dallas to win this game pretty convincingly they're on home ice against a weaker opponent they're gonna win this game five to two on home ice and the last game of the night guys into the minnesota wild versus the seattle crack and crack have been very surprising this year so far and the wild have been very underwhelming this year they've they got shut out two games in a row, then they, they finally did score and put up four against Anaheim. So now they're going to play a tougher opponent in Seattle on a tough building to play. They've been playing pretty good at home recently. And Seattle, this is a, this is a big win for them. This is a big win if they can do this because they're second right now in the Pacific, if I'm pretty sure. And they can make playoffs if they can keep this up. So they need to beat these better teams to see if they can compete. First of all, if they can compete, I know they can, but we'll see if the Wilds can score some goals because they been, have been struggling on that. But I do expect them to turn that around. I think the Wilds win this game 5-3 to three in Seattle. All right, guys. That is going to be this video. Please drop a like, subscribe if you guys did enjoy it all. Much love. Make sure to check out my live streams. I'm going to be streaming a lot more. And yeah, thank you for being here. Much love and subscribe, motherfuckers.